hello and welcome back and today we want to compare two two bay nazis from synology and asa store i want to talk about the ds720 plus and compare it against the new locker store 2. two nazis at a very very similar price point about a tenner between them if that both arriving at about 420 430 quid each and both arriving with very very similar hardware but a number of you that are trying to choose between these two probably for your first nas or at least your first Pro Series NAS may notice a lot of similarities between them, and that's true. They've both got the same CPU. They've both got that J4125 quad core CPU, 2.0 to 2.7 gigahertz UHD graphics 600, and support of DDR4 memory. But within a lot of their similarities, we do find differences, such as the memory with the DS720 arriving with 2 gig of DDR4 memory at 2,666 megahertz, um, already soldered to the board. And a slot to add another 4 gig of official memory, giving it a 6 gig maximum. The Locker Store 2, on the other hand, arrives with 4 gig of DDR4 memory, 2400 megahertz, that can be upgraded with an additional sodium uh, stick inside to put it up to 8 gig of memory. So, fractionally slower memory, but a larger overall capacity. Now, what you're going to notice during the course of this video is almost everything I say is going to be. Better software, this side of the table. Better hardware, that side of the table. So, um, first party, third party. And unfortunately, that is going to be very repetitive in this video because that is the big takeaway here. When you buy the 720, you are buying something that is 60, maybe even 70% leveraged in favor of its software. The price tag, um, Synology software being as good as it is, is supported by people buying the solutions. So when people buy this Synology solution, you are getting a combined hardware software solution, but know that that price tag is geared more towards the software. And if you plan on using the software, good for you. But if you're buying a NAS and you don't plan on using their software as much as your third party applications, that's when you want to look at this end of the table because the Acer Store platform is still very good. They're both BTRFS, for example, with fast self-healing, faster snapshots with lower resource consumption and easier shared file duplication and creation. But it's worth highlighting that the applications that run on the Locker Store just aren't as good. They're good. They're so much better than they were with lots of applications for enjoying photo, videos, and music. And looks good, sounds good. Um, I think it's, yeah, looks good, sounds good, streams good. On top of that, you've got a third-party streaming platform there for gamers, support Plex Media Server, uh, third-party virtual machine software in VirtualBox, um, Portainer, uh, as well as that container app Docker. You've got lots of applications and support of third-party clouds to synchronize it back up to as well. But the Acer Store, although a number of those applications are first-party, does rely a lot more heavily on third-party providers. With your money for this being far more 50-50 in terms of the hardware you get and the software that it arrives with. Now, that is, gonna, that is pretty much the core argument between these two because in terms of hardware... The Acer Store here, the Lock Store 2, is going to win. Not only do they arrive with that same CPU and same type of memory, although probably arguably a better deal in the uh, Lock Store 2, it's worth highlighting that this device is metal all the way around, which isn't for everyone. I know a number of people aren't overly keen on metal NASs. They make a little bit more noise, or if they use more enterprise grade drives like 16 TBs. Uh, and basically 7200 larger platter environment drives, they will produce more hums, clicks and whirs, which in a metal chassis will amplify those values. But the heat does help with heat dissipation a great deal more. And arguably, it is probably the better looking of the two. The Synology does have a lot of its design charm. It's got, for example, the logo on the side, it's fully ventilated. You've got those drive bays, you've got NVMe slots based in the base of this device. This you have to remove the chassis to get to those NVMe's for caching. But it's a plastic chassis from Synology. And although there's lots more ventilation, that's because it's a plastic chassis. And plastic chassis do not dissipate heat as well as metal chassis do. If we look at the rear of these devices, we can see that they're very similar attitudes to some things and very different in others. So, for example, they've both got two LAN ports there, but they are 1 GBE ports on the Synology and 2.5 GBE ports there on the Locker Store. So, between 1 and 200 megabytes per second, give or take, um, there on the Synology, and between 250 to 500 megabytes per second with link aggregation 
on the locker store. On top of that, two USB 3 ports there, only one there. They both got one on the front, and these USB 3 ports on the locker store support more third party peripheral devices. And again, there's that word again third party. From UPSs to printers to keyboards to mice to games, controllers, remotes, and more. There's lots of things you can connect to these ports and including their own expansions because they're both expandable. The DS720 can be expanded by an additional five bays, but the Locker Store 2 can be expanded by even more than that with the range of their expansions that use USB 3 rather than eSATA, which arguably is higher, six gigabits per second as compared with five gigabits per second, but with the expansions, it's okay. You're not going to read. Really, you're going to have to really go big to max that connection. And there's HDMI 2.0a, so 60 frames per second, 4K, which used in conjunction with a KVM setup, keyboard, video, mouse, or just with a remote control, enjoying movies on your sofa via Plex or one of the many, many first and third party media applications in the Acer Store separate platform uh, for uh, HDMI Acer Store portal means that. This can be used and expanded more in your network environment and hardware environment because of its leveraged price point towards both hardware and software and of course its greater support of third party apps. Now that isn't to say that the Synology doesn't support third party apps well, it really really does but just not to the same degree and not with as many dedicated applications as the Locker Store. A lot of those apps are basically glorified web pages in some cases but not in all cases and they have trimmed down a lot of the bloatware that was in that app center a couple of years ago that we complained about but the first party apps on the Synology cannot be ignored Synology chat Synology office Synology mail Synology drive there's so many apps that work as viable alternatives to paid subscription cloud-based third-party apps I mean even Synology chat there are apps for mobile phones and desktops that can replace WhatsApp and Skype in your business. The surveillance platform in Surveillance Station 8.2 currently is better than Surveillance Center on the Acer Store, but the Acer Store can have other third-party surveillance software installed inside. What I'm saying is, again, first party, third party. Are you gonna use your software or theirs? And that's the big takeaway in today's video, that between these two, although the software on the Acer Store is good, it can't live up to the Synology software. And that's why its price with less hardware visibly on, on the device, you can see that that money's going into the software. And if you're not gonna use it, maybe look elsewhere. But this has been the uh, DS720 Plus from Synology versus the Locator, Lock Store 2 from Acer Store. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. And it's been a lot briefer than normal, but I think these two are quite similar and this video is obviously gonna reflect that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Click like if you have, click subscribe if you want to learn more. And of course, visit the guys at span.com and read the comparison below at NAS Compares. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.